Well, this is it. First job. First day back. I'm doing HPC. I've got their app. I haven't got the career exchange at the moment, so I haven't done it verified for trusted. And of course, we're in the lovely Tiffany. Well, in that goes. Yeah, the central locking thing, the button ain't working yet. I've got to get the programming on that. Right, that's me walk around, me walk around done. Not that there's going to be anything wrong with it, because I spent the last two days mucking around with it, playing with it, checking it, doing the curtains, needing a new air tank. Got the air tank fitted last night, thanks to Mark. Thank you, Mark, the best mechanic in the world. Uh, gone back to the old-fashioned system. Do you need a app to verify the water and check in the morning? No. Got a defect, but works really, really well. Thank you very much. Uh, if I can... Bins, I can see the date. Uh, but yeah, we're all set. So I've got a job from HBC. I'm not on the exchange yet because the app hasn't verified through Trusted, which is an absolute ball ache, but I'm getting there. I understand why it's there. Ball ache, nevertheless. Uh, yeah, I've got a pickup in Letchworth and two drops in MK. And that might be it for me today because I've still got all this other stuff to sort out. I thought, took yesterday off. I have one day, first day off this year. And I thought, get all that done, do the garden, get me a haircut. Five o'clock at night, I was still trying to do it. But I've got a lot of it done. I realise how much work was involved. I've got a lot of it done. Um, anyhow, I'm going to get this filled in. Not rabbit in, because I've got to go pick this job up. What am I doing? See you now. Go get the job, Peter. What you playing at? Hmm. Just briefly pulled in the truck stop at Junction 9. Uh, it's, it's weird. It's like when you're driving a brand new truck, a different truck, it's kind of like being a truck driver for the first time. I'm trying to get, it's like I'm getting used to it. Well, anyway, they can really get out. Well, that was a clever idea, put it in there. Oh, no, I used to use a lay by. Um, nah, it'll be all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got the big cab. This is brilliant. I've got, I don't know if they call it a Skyliner or a Highliner or something like that. I stand up in it. It's like an Arctic cab, it's beautiful. We've got the full bed behind me. Flag went up yesterday, that's in the right place now. Tell me why to get that right. Is he going? Which way is he going? He's going that way. Okay, I better come back away. That was a bit of a stupid move on my behalf. Uh, I thought he was going the other way. Not that he would, but you go down around that, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, uh, you get the. You, I've, I've put the, the hands free in and be flashing. I've got all my thing. I'll give you a guided tour. I'll do you an actual video for it, like you know. But um, yeah, we. I'm running out. I mean, you're gonna need a few bits and pieces. The truck was cheap. I got a very good deal on the truck. So the truck was cheap. We had to put a new air tank on it, and you got some shots coming. I've got a drag line coming, whatever that is. Uh, and between wintering wipers. Um, and also, I think there's, there's something going on with the emissions. I've got uh, something to do with that. But again, because the truck was cheap, I'm going to expect a few bits and pieces. You've done a few miles, done 450,000 miles to be precise. Um, but then, like, the, the DEF we had on our firm, on the old firm, on Transport Air, that had done 700,000 miles. And it's got trucks that have done a million miles. And also, we know it's come from, it's come from Pedigree, it's come from Fermi, Leighton Buzzard, bought it from New, and apparently it was, <laughs> I said to the boys, they said it's been R&M from DEF since day one. And they went, R&M, yeah, that'd be Colin. <laughs> so they know the guy who's been looking after it. So that's not too bad. But yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to take it steady to begin with. We're going to do a few, hopefully a few local jobs, hopefully a few jobs for, for, my, for the new firm. Well, I've, I've got a firm... What happened was, it's a long story, it's a very long story. 
a mate of mine who, who when I started being at HPC, I love HPC. We did a video for him back in the day, and he's a seasoned professional, really good firm. I, I reckon one of the best firms out there, in my opinion. And I rang him up because I used to do payment terms. They did payment terms for 14 days, and obviously because I'm heartless as usual. Uh, and I said, that being a mind title with a 14 days. He said, Peter, for you, I'll give you seven days. And I need you every morning. We need drivers like you. So the CX isn't active yet. I'm going to try and get that active this afternoon. Uh, but um, I want, I'm onto their app, their smart app. And um, the job picked up this morning. This one, in fairness. I went, yeah, yeah, I can do that. So uh, here I am, I'm going to do it. You know, so... Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. There are certain things that you think you know where they go because you're a seasoned truck driver and you've driven many deaths and you realise they have no cup holders. What is it with the people in Holland? Put cup, there's two pathetic cup holders. They're designed to make the flask fall over. It's like a, it's like a, it's, it's a crescent shape. It doesn't even go all the way around. So you hit the brakes, it falls forwards. What, nobody in the ergonomics department has worked that one out? And there are certain things like, well, I'm going to put the sat-nav there. No, the sat-nav is out of bed going over there. I'm now going to need a longer cable. I'm going to have to order a longer cable from Amazon. Maybe I've got one in my drawer at home. And then there's other things that you can work out. Like, you know, like, this is not the greatest picture on here, and I know, so I can see myself. I've got a little sun visor for the side. I thought, I just want to wonder. I had one of those before. Very useful. Keeps the sun on my face when the um, in the autumn and spring, you know. Power steering seems a little bit stiff. And I've got a yellow light on the dashboard, which is something to do with the emissions. We said it was going to send it in the um, limp mode. A run mark is it could be a million things. Could be just because it's been sitting for a long time. Could be something to do with the air because we just changed the tanks. But bearing in mind the dough I paid for it, if I have to spend a little bit of dough getting it up to speed, that's, you know, to be expected. But we're still on our way over to first collection. I don't know, I, I, I've, um, my tax status has now updated because I went through trusting and I've done everything. I've put on my MOT, and I've done like, you know, sort of insurance, goods in transit, all that stuff. Took four photos of the lorry, left, right, front and back, bank details and everything. The only thing that didn't work is I hadn't taxed, I hadn't taxed the lorry. So I wasn't going to, I bought it, um, I bought it from a, I'll tell you the story. This is great, oh, this is good, this story. Uh, so I've gone through everything and I finally got to the stage after speaking to Ben at HBC and realised I could work on seven days. I thought this is definitely happening now. So I joined the exchange that day. Did they do me any favours? Well, they gave me six months rather than a year. I could pay six months other than that. You know, I make these videos. <laughs> Quite a lot of customers, really have. Still, I suppose they provide my back loads, they provide my livelihood. And I thought I'd better, um, better get a truck. So I'm sitting, I was picking up in sea coals in Tilbury, and I rung, and, and I'm sitting there waiting to get loaded, because you do have to sit and wait a little while, they get there, yes, yeah, it's what it is. And, um, sea coal, sea coal, sea coal. And um, I thought, I'll give my mate James, uh, um, Barry Grucop, a ring. Now, I got, I got on well with James when I had the Van Gogh, and we had like um, five trucks on the road, and I'd ring him, and we'd start chatting, and he's a nice, really, really nice guy, like, you know? Um, and if you ever need parts for your death, he's a breakers in Corby called Barry Grucox. They're very, very reasonable, and they're very, very good. I highly recommend them. Um, and I rang him up, and I went, look, I told him what I wanted, because everything you get when you're looking on eBay and all that kind of stuff, you look, or you look on eBay, and you look on um, Autotrader, or I do. And um, I wanted, I wanted about six things. I wanted a death. I wanted a sleeper. I needed a curtain. I wanted a tuck under tail. I wanted an 18 ton. You know, I would have been prepared to go 26, but could have, but I wanted an 18 ton. Um, I wanted an automatic. And I wanted a tuck under tail lift. And all of the lot trucks you look at, they're like, well, yeah, it's an automatic, it's a sleeper, it's a tuck under tail lift, curtain 18 ton, it's a man. I like devs. Oh, it's got, it's all this, but it's got a cantilever towel lift. I don't want a cantilever towel lift. And you know, so it's all that. Anyway, so I've rung him up and I've gone, he said, I'll make a few phone calls to see what I can do. He rang me back two minutes later. He says, you're not going to believe this. He said, I've got the perfect truck for you. Everything you want, it's done a lot of miles. It has done a lot of miles, but it's, um, it's cheap. And it's in Leighton Buzzard. 
Oh, and you're joking. Leighton Buzzard is like fire. I was looking Cardiff, Liverpool, Edinburgh. I'd have gone anywhere to pick the lorry up. Leighton Buzzard. I've gone, all right, okay, fine. So I ran the bloke up, um, and I said, look, any chance to come and have a look at it tonight? And I finished early that night. That never happens to transport it. Uh, and I finished, I was done, because I went back to my yard, and I was done at, like, six o'clock. I said, meet you at half six. He said, well, I've got to take the dog to the vets, but I'll meet you at half six, yeah, no problem. Uh, I bought it, I looked at it, lovely, very nice. It was dirty. The cab was dirty, but you've got to see past that. So I spent all day um, Saturday with me Mr. Muscle and a whole roll of kitchen roll going top to bottom, cleaning it. Clean. It probably, I mean, it's been well looked after mechanically, and obviously it's been washed from time to time, but I don't think the cab's been cleaned in 10 years. So, um, yes, I've done that, and I've, I've put my bed in, and I've put the thing in, I've put the flag up. You see the flag? The union flag, which for the gentleman, I made sure I got it the right way round. Took me two goes to get it in the right place. My left would have been where it is now. Um, yeah, and he said, look, take it back to the yard, get your mechanic to check it over. If it's no good, bring it back, I'll get your money back. I thought, what a guy. And then I spoke to my mate Ian, and Ian says he's, he's, he's the other guy who, who runs up the yard. He's a good friend of mine. We, we, I like him. He's, he's a great guy. Um, I haven't known him that long, but I, I, I like him. And um, he said, yeah, I buy all my trucks off him. He said, I gave you his car two years ago. Why have you not looked at it again? Watch this. Ta-da! Um, yeah, I gave you his car two years ago. And I went, oh, great. So the guy's on the level. Went and bought the lorry. Like I say, looking good. Looking good. Um, well, fingers crossed it stays that way. So now I've got to do is get to take this lorry out, earn a pile of money in it, and get some dough to one side in the bank. So if anything does go wrong, there's some dough to fix it. Oh, let's hope, eh? <laughs> I can't... Let's hope. collection point. Got a couple more yellow lights have been done. Got a, a, there's an ABS thing going on and there's um, a, a tyre pressure sensor thing going on. So what I've done, let's get this over. They're all yellow, so I'm not too panicky. Uh, I've got a guy, I've got a guy, I know a guy, um, and he's a daft mechanic and he's got all the, um, the computers and all that kind of stuff. So what I'll probably do is I'll get this one done. I'm gonna get it back to the yard. I'm gonna get everything that I need to do this afternoon. And then I'm gonna go meet him at six o'clock tonight. He can plug his computer in and see what's going on. On the plus side of things, I need the keys reprogrammed because the keys are like, um, what do you call it? They're there, I can only open it on the locky thing. I can't open the pressy button. And I need him for that, so I kind of did need to see him anyway. So, but we're just putting in here first collection point. It's packaging, I've done it before, so it's cardboard, which means it'll be nice and light. Thank you, Dad. Well, we're out. Um, yeah, two drops. One in MK, one in Blexi. Just down the road from me. Um, yeah, let's get loaded. thing about this job the gentleman really kindly said I could dump my rubbish in his bin because I'm where I've been sweeping up the lorry and sorting out all the bits and pieces we didn't need they're going in there
it's the bizarrest thing. I've been doing this all day, every day for the last 10 months for someone else. And for that, years, I don't know, years on my own. And I feel like a newbie. I keep getting it wrong. I keep going, oh, I feel like nervous. Don't know why. Uh, yeah, probably yourself in it with gently. I'm sure as time goes by, I'll get the hang of it. Cool. Right, that's me all loaded. I am all over the shop with it today. It's bizarre. I think it's because I'm trying. I'm new to this lorry, which again shouldn't really be a big deal. Um, and I'm trying to sort other things out as well. Power oh, off. Thanks very much. Bluetooth. Yeah. Waiting for yeah, connection. Bluetooth I mean? sort of is beeping. connected. Okay, that's all that says. Um, yeah, I think she needs to bed in. The other lorries I've had before haven't had this problem. They just weren't. This one's kind of a bit temperamental. But I've got the death guy coming out. So what I'm going to do, uh, I've got two deliveries. I've got to do Suzuki over in um, MK. Done that one before. That's easy enough. Nice big forecourt. And then I don't know what the other one is, but it's Bletchley. So I'll get through there. <laughs> I'll get through there. I'll give it. <laughs> I'll give it. I've either got to make it through that or embarrass myself in front of the class one driver, so I'll breathe in. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll be all right, I'm sure. Uh, there we go. We'll do it slowly. We'll do it slowly. He was nice. You get an airplane through this gap. What are you talking about, Peter? Come on now. You had the old coach driver trick. If your mirrors go through, you go through. And your mirrors went through, which is nice. I've got great mirrors. I've got, oh well, um, I have got electric mirrors. I've got, um, what else? Electric sunroof. That was new. Uh, what else have we got that's electric? Something else? Maybe not. No, 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 you make the big lorry wait. Um, yeah, it's kind of got all the mod cons, which is nice. So yeah, anywho, right. So we're off now to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to drop these to these off. And then I'm gonna take you back to the yard. I'm gonna go back to the house. Sort of. Um, yeah, far up. Get, get it all up and running properly. Oh, go back there. Go this way. All right. <laughs> Oh, I feel like it's a new day in school, you know? I've got me new, you got no uniform anymore. I wear my own clothes again. I mean, don't get me wrong, as uniforms went, the transporter uniform was a nice uniform. It was navy, my favorite color, and the logos were good and all that kind of stuff. Very good quality uniform. But, I don't know. Like I said somewhere before, some animals don't do well in captivity. And I just kind of, I just like the freedom. 